Hi everyone. Today I am going to explain how to connect the MySQL database in Spring Boot application. In this demo, I am going to show you how to retrieve the data from database table and how to insert the data into the database table by using a Spring Boot application in MySQL databases. The first step, I am going to download the Gradle project from Spring Initializer website. This is the Spring Initializer website. You can bootstrap your application now. Here I am generating a Gradle project with Java and then the Spring Boot version 2.0.3. Here I am providing the group name as com.talktoamreswaran.projects and then the artifact name I am giving MySQL demo. Okay, we need to add the Spring Boot shorter web dependency for writing a REST controller. We need to add the MySQL dependency to connect the MySQL database with the MySQL JDBC drivers. And also I am going to use the JDBC template to connect the uh, MySQL and to fetch the data from the tables and insert the data from the table, insert the data into the tables. So I added the JDBC dependency. Now click the generate project button. It will download the zip file into your downloads directory go to the downloads directory and extract the zip file and import this gradle project into your eclipse so just copy the project root directory here go to your eclipse and right click it use the import option in the import option provide the existing gradle project option and provide the project root directory here click next next in this case the dependencies will download into your machine and then next click finish so look at here the dependencies are downloading here after downloading all the dependencies your project is imported successfully into your eclipse go to the build.gradle file and then make sure the spring boot version is 2.0 release is added or not and then make sure the dependencies are added or not the Spring Boot Shorter JDBC dependency, Spring Boot Shorter Web dependency, and then the MySQL Connector Runtime dependency is added. Okay, now go to the main Spring Boot application class file. In the main up Spring Boot application class file, annotated with the at Spring Boot application. This is the main class file. Okay. Next step, go to the resource directory. There is an application properties file. In this demo i am going to use the yaml file instead of properties file okay in the application.yaml file i am going to provide the spring application name spring application name i am going to provide it here user service okay this is my spring application name the next we need to add the spring data source properties to connect the mysql databases okay so this is the spring data source properties driver class name is com mysql jdbc driver and then the jdbc url is the jdbc mysql localhost 3306 and database name is user service and then the username password to connect the database and then other jdbc properties i mean the data source properties to connect the databases maximum active connection maximum idle and then everything okay so mysql database is running in my local machine and i created a new database called user service and created a table users and inserted the two records so look at here if i execute this sql query select star from users there is a two records of that these two records i am going to fetch it from the api by using the spring boot application okay so this is the application.yaml file changes we need to do. Now I am going to write a controller class file. I mean the user service rest controller class file. I am going to write it here. I created that. This class should annotate it with the at rest controller annotation because we are going to write a rest endpoints here. So this class file should act as a controller. Okay. So the first method I am going to fetch the list of database, uh, I mean list, list of records from the database table. Okay. So for this request mapping, the value is users and then the method is I am going to use 
get method so whoever calling this slash users method they will get the list of users from the database okay public so list of users get users this method will return the list of users so we need to create a model called users create class users so now i am going to create a model here users okay so it contains the two attributes one is the name and another one is the age okay so now i am going to create a setter and getter method for this user model so i created the setter method and getter method for this users model okay the next step i am going to import the list java list statement and then the request method okay here it will return the new of array list of users okay it should return the new of array list okay so the next step now i am going to create a dao so in this dao will can connect to the database by using the JDBC template and then we can fetch the list of users from the database table here I am going to name the class file called user service DAO this DAO represents act as a repository class file so repository so this class file will communicate with the database and it will get the data from the database by using the JDBC template. Now I am going to auto wire the JDBC template object. Okay, JDBC template, JDBC template. I just auto wire that. Okay, the auto wire could not be resolved. So I just added the import statement here. So in this class file, I am going to create a method that will return the list of users object. Okay, get users. Public the list of users. The list of users should come from the Java array list. So list of users. Here the, I am naming the variable name users list it returns the list of array list it should return the users list okay now i am going to write here sql query to get the list of users string sql equal to select char from users table okay look at here by using jdbc template query for list method i just pass the sql query it will return the collection object okay with the map of string and object so look at here here i use the java h stream api to loop the rows object the, i mean the collection object i am adding the users object into the users list you will get the user in the for each block so here I am going to add it that users list dot add of user. Okay. So here you can define user users dot set name. Here you can define string row dot get of name. Okay. The next I am going to set the age of users users dot set age so string dot value of row dot get of age okay there is a two attributes are there in the users table one is the name and another one is the age okay so I added that so if I call this API, you will get the list of users from the database table users in from the MySQL database. 
okay now i am going to auto wire this user service dao in the controller class file so look at here here i am just auto wiring that user service dao class file so this user service dao will return the list of users from the database table we don't need to declare this i mean uh, import the array list so look at here whoever calling this users api they will get the list of users from the database table select star from users by using the jdbc template so this table will be created in the mysql database okay so the next step i am going to create another one api called users that represents the post api so we can insert a new record into the database table this method will return a just a string like user created successfully something insert user okay this api should consume the request body request body is the users object okay user then here i am going to just add the string return user create successfully okay in this method i am going to call a dao method call user service dao dot create user for this create user method i just passing the user object so here i did not write any validation before calling the create user method if there is a real time project you have to be write the validation whether the user given the age whether the user given the name or something okay the create user method i am going to create it here in the users dao okay i just created here here i am going to use the prepared statement to create the user okay look at here in the create user method i use the jdbc template dot update method okay here i just created the prepared statement by using the java sql connection object in the prepare statement i given the sql query insert in two users the name and age there is a two question mark i had out for this prepare statement we need to set the string one is the prepare statement dot set string of user dot get name and another one is the prepare statement dot set string of user dot age value okay so this is the two attributes i used here in the users model that two attributes i am going to insert in the mysql database table okay first i am going to fetch this two data i am going to insert the another one third data the next i am going to fetch all the three data by using an api okay so dao method the controller method and then the model and then in the application.yaml file also i create a now i am going to run this application so there is a main class file mysql demo application annotated with the add spring boot application here i use the build.gradle file if you guys want to build your application by using a gradle build use the command gradle clean build otherwise you can run this application here so you can use run as java application so console will start in the console you can see the log tomcat started on the port 8080 with the context path empty and then the look at here the your application is started in 7.3.5 seconds now i am going to eat the two urls okay one is the users for get api and another one is the users for post api users for get api to fetch the list of users from the database table and then post api is used to insert the data in the users table okay so look at here in the postman client i am going to hit the slash users api the get method api i am going to hit now it will return the list of users from the database table in the json response so look at here it returns the william and john from the database table okay the william and john next step i am going to create a new user by using a post method 
the same users this is my request body name i am giving amar and age is 27 okay if i click the send so look at here i received the response user created successfully you can see the preview here user created successfully the next step i am going to hit the get api once again the newly created user will list so look at here the newly created user is list name and then the age in the database also you can query the data select star from user so look at here the third user has inserted successfully so we successfully connected the mysql database in spring boot application by using a jdbc template object thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel like my videos and share my videos thank you